Okay, Jussi, I need your help making a tutorial about cloning myself in a video. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. Okay, fantastic. Let's do it. How's it going guys? My name is Jussi. I'm a freelance filmmaker and this channel is all about videography and video editing tips and tutorials without wasting your time. Today I'm gonna show you two cool ways how to clone yourself in a video. The first one in the intro was done the easy way with the camera on a tripod and the second one was done using my Ronin S Gimbal's motion control in the app. So let's start with the easy way. So I shot two separate clips, here's the first one and here's the second one. Then select the first clip and drag the video to the upper layer. Then select the second clip, drag the audio down, then drag the clip to underneath the first clip. Make sure to select the first clip and go to the effect controls, bring down the opacity of the clip to around 70% so you can see the clip number 2. Then select free draw Bezier. And here we're gonna change the size to 25%. Then let's mask the second guy at the left. Go back to the effect controls Change mask feather to around 45 and the mask expansion to around 25 to smooth out the mask. Let's make the clip fit the screen and see how it looks. Okay, you'll see. I need your help making a tutorial about cloning myself in a video. Okay, let's jump into the gimbal movement shot. So the way I did this one was using the motion control of the Ronin S with the app. First, I set the start point and the end point of the movement and did three different shots while controlling the gimbal remotely with my phone. So here are the three separate shots. First, let's drag the first clip on top of the second, then drag the last clip under the second. Then select the first clip, go to effect controls and bring down the opacity down to 70%. Select the masking tool, change the mask feather to around 45 and mask expansion to around 25% and select inverted. Let's change the size to 25%. Go to the end of the first clip and mask the second guy. Select the first clip, go to effect controls and click on track selected mask backward. And now here's the two of me. Then select the first two clips, right click on them and nest them into one clip. Select the nested clip go to effect controls and pull down the opacity again to 70%. And again, change mask feather to 45%, mask expansion to 25% and click inverted. Now mask the third clone, then go to effect controls and bring back the opacity to 100% and click track selected mask backward. And now let's have a look at the final effect one more time. Mm -hmm. 
Just so you know, you might have to do the masking and tracking a few times before it looks good. And you might even have to correct the masking manually for each and every single frame before you get it right. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about videography and video editing, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you won't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next Monday. Take care.